Hi, Team Flyer. How are you? Happy Motivational Monday. We're here. We made it. It's August. Can you believe us? I, I sure can, I guess, because we have to. <laughs> Anyways, we are here. We're back, of course, like every single Monday that we started. I want to say at the end of June, we started this. So it's been about five, six episodes in. I want to say the fifth one, but nonetheless, Motivational Mondays with our beautiful and wonderful Cassandra. Cassandra Hauser, here we are. Hello. How are you, my darling? Hello. Good morning. <laughs> I am doing fine and dandy. How are you, Ari Ariadna? I'm doing pretty well as well. I'm very <laughs> thankful, very happy right now with lots of happening, good stuff happening in my life. and So many things. So many things. Um... And I'm super thankful for our community, for the feedback that we, we keep receiving for these Motivational Mondays and to keep them going. And like, thanks to the quote that we say, they're like, oh my God, we want more. And like, thank you so much. Because I had the quote like all week long in my mind. And even if they listen to this episode, like I have people like, oh my God, it's Friday. And I just realized, or I, I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> like still, <laughs> anything to motivate your day, whatever the day of the week you're in, basically. So, without further ado, let's talk about the date, the date I was going to say, sorry, the quote of the day, which is, I learned that people forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And it's by Maya Angelou. So, let's do this. Let's go. Let's talk about this quote. Yes. So... <laughs> Whenever I immediately first uh, read the quote that Ariadna found, I definitely um, just wanted to kind of bring it all together because it's so true. Uh, first of all, because, you know, I always think about sometimes in my past, there's always been a time where I've screwed something up or I've said something totally ridiculous that I should never have said in public. And I definitely spend time agonizing on it. But over time, I always, it always like kind of just fades away. Like, so you have those emotions when you first say the wrong thing and then you agonize over it for days and then it kind of just like purges itself. But through my memories and whenever I think back to really important moments of my past, I always remember like time and place and then how I felt or what was happening and especially like when people just take that extra time out of their day to kind of come over and just say hey lady how's it going like hope you're doing well like I remember that way more than I remember a lot of other things I don't know if that's the same for you Ariadna I would say definitely. I love this quote a lot not only because of the woman who said it of course but also because it's so true like it's one of those things that I always think about when I create a community like this one or when I do something that's going to be of purpose, basically. And the main feedback I get, it's like, oh my God, you made me feel special. You made me feel empowered. You made me feel happy or inspired. You motivate me. And it's not because, oh my God, I motivate the world. No, it's just because the feeling of, the feeling sticks, essentially. They might not remember everything I say, and this goes both ways. Like whenever I see someone of my favorite, like idol, like, I don't know, someone talking um, passionately about something, I might not remember their story per se, but I do remember like, oh, that story resonated, that made my heart glow. So it goes with good and bad, like you said, like when you say something out of anger and you're like, oh my God, this and this and this, like, of course it goes definitely both ways. And this is also... Now that you actually mentioned that, I did remember a curious fact about this. I was a teacher for 10 plus year, language teacher for English and Spanish. And um, the same thing goes when educating kids, because I did study psychology a little bit for them, because I'm really keen on like understanding children, especially as a teacher. I feel like that's something like you need to know, of course, because you handle them every day. And you can scream and yell at a kid as a teacher, as a parent, as an adult to a child no many like a bunch of times they're not going to understand what you're saying because it's just they're a kid if you know what i mean they will remember the way they felt when you were screaming at them for whatever reason so i feel like once again it, it ties both the really good motivational feeling of like oh my god she made me feel so special at the same time it's like oh he she made me feel so you know down or like i don't know what i did so yeah <laughs> that's just a couple of my examples right now yeah, and also 
whenever it comes down to like, so I have mentioned this in other motivational Mondays, but I definitely feed off the energy that people give off. And I definitely also think that part of that energy is the way I feel when I'm around someone or, you know, I was actually on a girl's trip one time. It was when I was still living in Italy and we had all gotten together um, in Tuscany and there was like 18 of us. And I remember in particular, I was taking a stroll around the gardens with this one girl that I just loved dearly. And she was so full of wisdom and just had all these bright things to say at all times. And she's just a force of nature. And she had said to me, she was like, oh, you know what? She's like, you have such an old soul. I can just feel it whenever I'm next to you. And she's like, and I love to talk to you and I love to walk around and just enjoy your company. And I never heard someone say that before. I actually, maybe that's when I started feeling the same way about, oh, like when you get into the company of others and how they make I, you I feel. And, that statement and I don't know, like, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, thank you very much. And so like whenever I was like talking to her and we were walking, I just was kind of like, oh, like that's it. Like when you get around people that have these auras and this energy and you talk to strangers and you have these conversations, it's just like all about the feeling and you can walk away and just be so happy that you had this conversation or met somebody, even if it's just for one day. And I always kind of look, search for that. I search for people that give up off those auras and give those feelings. And I'm, I'm so happy to think that maybe someone would come back to me to kind of get that back from me. So I, that's how I kind of look at it as well. I really, really, really adore that so much because, um, excuse my side chuckle. If you know me, you know, I have a small kitten and he's making me laugh in the background slash meowing at my door. So excuse my <laughs> random chuckles and this mini pause of, but if you see my feed, you know that I have a kitten. Anyways, um, I agree with the energy that you feed off as well. <laughs> it's really cute though. It's like the paws are like right under the door. You're like, Hey mom, <laughs> sorry. Um, the energy again is, so important as well. I always tell people like surround yourself with people who lift you higher and people who make you feel special because you are and unique because you are. I definitely agree with that friend of yours. You do, you are an old soul. And if you know anything about me, a part that I have a small black kid in is, <laughs> um, is that I, I want to, I guess the sentence that you said, I want to make sure the people that I collaborate with, work with, that I surround my life with as friends and family and whatnot are people who are in that mindset of growth. And that's kind of what attracted me to you, of course. And like a lot of people that I have on just in general, I feel like, because that message kind of flows through. So I definitely agree that you're an old soul. And energy attracts energy. I mean, we can go on for a little while longer and these are supposed to be really short you know, podcast episodes anyway, but my only two cents with that one is like what you can hear many other podcast episodes of mine, for example, that I've gone through like that depression, that anxiety. And when I was there, I attracted all that toxic energy. So when you overcome that, um, you become this, which is not perfect because perfect doesn't exist. It's all about progress, you know, progression, not perfection. That's for sure. So kind of tying it up with a quote, it would be that, like, um, it's so important how you make people feel. And this, I guess I, rem I it reminds me of, you know, treat people the way you want to be treated. And because I just want to receive love, that's what I want to give out to the world the most. So that's yeah. <laughs> very, that is very impactful because I think that's how you have to look at it. Just exactly what you just said, like how you have to take, um, kind of like sit down with yourself and say like, what am I trying to, what do I need most in the world? Like what kind of feelings do I like receiving? What do I like to, um, 
replicate. And then you have to go out and do it the same way that you want to be treated, the same way you want to interact with others. Um, because if you don't, uh, it's pretty obvious. I mean, just this past weekend, um, I'm staying in Chicago right now. So, and I'm originally from Pennsylvania and I'm here for a month and we went to go to the grocery store and we were like going to check out and my friend was like, Oh, don't go to that owl. Cause that woman, she's so old and mean. And I like, was like, no, let's go anyway. And yeah, she was pretty mean. Like she was kind of like really angry and she, you know, didn't say anything very nice and she's definitely unhappy with her job. And actually I wasn't upset at all because it had nothing to do with me. It had everything to do with her. Like she's obviously not happy with herself. She wasn't in a good place. And I like just recognize that like you don't just because someone is projecting really and I don't know what could I oh I want to go to her out every time because now it's a mission to see if I can make her smell <laughs> um which is going to be really difficult by the way <laughs> like she's really got it's a frown <laughs> it's a tough cookie without a <laughs> she's a tough cookie but I don't know. It's so funny because in some instances you would look at that interaction and be like, she made me feel really upset or that was a bad interaction. But for me, I'm like, what can I do to try to get this woman to be nice for one customer? <laughs> I totally, totally resonate with that. So yeah, it completely resonates with me because one of the main things that I love what you said, like, oh, that's on her, has nothing to do with me. And I feel like that's such a fundamental message to leave, that whenever you find someone who's angry or bitter or even happy, like, it doesn't matter what kind of emotion or sad, of course, it's them with themselves. So a lot of the times when um, you meet, like, that angry person, like, you know, that, I think it was just a cafeteria or, or bakery or whatever you were this weekend as a customer or whatnot, it's like, oh, it's them with themselves. Like, it's not going to affect my energy. And I'm a huge advocate of protecting your energy and knowing where you stand with that. And that literally just wraps it all around with the actual sense of selves. Like, how do I feel? And to like literally check in on oneself as well to make sure that whatever activity that you're going to be doing is like, how is that going to make me feel? Is that going to make me happy? I'm going to feel frustrated after. Like, what is happening there? So that way you understand that your um your energy is protected basically and i can go on for a while but once again we keep these short and sweet to motivate your monday and week <laughs> yes plus also um just recognize so if you are out there and you're having a really bad day, we all go through this. I myself have, and I still try to recall and remember, hey, you're out in, out in the world, like make sure that you don't let that bad day kind of come off of you and roll onto others. And I think that's also really important because I think most people would say that I'm pretty optimistic, have a really good outgoing personality, but there are some bad days and we all experience that. So it's really important to connect with yourself. So if you're gonna get out there in the world after you are experiencing something or you're just not feeling very good, just try really hard. I guess that's the part that I would say like when you're out there so that way that you are always trying to keep a positive vibe and treating others how you want to be treated. Exactly. I adore that. That's how we're going to finish the episode. I also want to excuse the kitty love in the background that you sometimes hear in some episodes, not lately anymore, but still. And the Zoom technical difficulties because this is what happens this year. Everything's on Zoom, literally TV's on Zoom. So bear with us that we can, please and thank you. Um, but the most important thing is because we know the sound quality is gonna come back, the 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 vis the what video quality is gonna come back, everything's gonna come back, of course. But the real mission for these motivational Mondays is to make your week better and for you to reflect on things and for you to really be kind to yourselves. 
And yeah, so anyways, thank you very much for joining us once again, Cassandra and me, another beautiful Monday. Stay tuned for plenty more to come. Plenty more love, plenty more laughs your way. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Have a good day.